Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like vlogs, makeup, fragrance, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking trash, okay? We're gonna be talking about some products that I emptied. I know some of y'all really like these videos because you get a lot of mini reviews real quick. You know I'm to the point and I'm going to keep it real. And yeah, so I've got some perfume, some body care, some miscellaneous stuff, and some skincare. So let's get into it. So let's start with these decants and travel sprays. So I got these decants from one of my subscribers. Hey girl, thank you. Um, so let's talk about them. So this one is Virgin Island Water by Creed. Um, did I like this? Yes, I did like it. Now I do understand why people were saying like it's soft and it's not really loud and projecting. Like you know how we love Adventures for Her and how loud it is and how long lasting it is you don't really get that same type of performance from this but I did love the smell would I purchase this like full price no I would not but if I got this like on a good sale I absolutely would grab it because it was really nice for a hot day it was just like a clean fresh kind of coconut feel kind of watery not aquatic but like a watery flower or something like that um I think this was marketed towards me but it definitely was unisex even linked a little feminine to me this one is Vanilla Nera by Letta. So I haven't tried any Letta fragrances, but I hear really good things. This was a nice vanilla. It had, smelled like it had like a little smoky or a little spice or a little something to it. Um, it was a nice vanilla. Is it something that I would want to purchase? I don't think so. It was kind of really just a chill, regular vanilla. I mean, I guess I'm at the point in my journey where if it's just going to be a vanilla, Mm, I probably don't need it or want it. The vanillas really have to be giving me something that I don't already have. Um, this smells familiar. Smells like something I have. It was a nice vanilla. I wore it to bed and it was really pretty, but it's not something I would purchase. Juice by Commodity. This is the personal version. So this one has the strawberry, the rhubarb, and everything that the expressive version has, but this has violet leaf added to it. And I feel like this is a more floral version versus the expressive. This was cute. It was nice. It's definitely the personal version. This is something I wore to bed it does sit closer to the skin um it's not really like super long lasting or projecting this would be more for people who like florals with a little fruitiness and you don't like loud fragrances maybe you're looking for something to wear to work or you get headaches easily but this was I wouldn't purchase the full bottle of this one then we have a tangerine boy by Fleur yes ma'am like I would absolutely repurchase this this was such a vibe for the summer it smells like a tangerine if you don't want to smell like tangerines girl do not buy this because that's what this smells like it does have a little bit of a woody undertone but not much it's just basically really a juicy tangerine this was so good to layer with i was layering it with everything girl i was layering it with bohemian line by goldfield and banks i was wearing it um layering it with Cree event is for her i was layering it with um under the lemon tree by replica like i was layering this and it was giving all the vibes that it needs to give and i Will absolutely repurchase this next summer and last for fragrances is the vacation set by kayali yes i emptied it y'all know how i am y'all know how i spray so i was like girl give me big bottles mona give me big bottles so i really did enjoy this they it definitely gave you all the summer vibes it gave you the vacation vibes i took a couple of them with me when i went to atlanta just to have and wear during the day you know um eating breakfast and just kind of chilling like that so um i did do a reel on my instagram telling y'all you know how i rated them and that was before i like was like halfway through them i had just really started spraying them um but my my thoughts have not changed so the first my very very favorite one is a maui in a bottle this one has the um the sweet banana in it and some coconut i think coconut cream and vanilla and stuff like that so this one was definitely my favorite i feel like the banana was a nice touch yeah and this i really like this one my second favorite was capri in a bottle this one was the sweet sugary lemon it was a little zesty but definitely still sweet fresh uplifting happy like yeah this was number two for me number three was a maldives in a bottle like i didn't think i was gonna like this because of that rosemary note but no this was giving clean fresh spa vibes it was really really good um it's not clean and fresh like laundry detergent or nothing like that just clean fresh and more like airy spa the rosemary wasn't too much i really did like this one too and last was a marrakesh in a bottle this one was okay this definitely was not my favorite this isn't one that i would want in a full bottle i would want all three of these in a full bottle but not this one 
this was orange blossom but it was a lot of pink pepper and i feel like the pink pepper stayed but it did subside like it stayed within the life of the fragrance but it wasn't as strong as when you first spray it and it was a cool like orange blossom but it just wasn't my favorite i just wouldn't get a full bottle of this one let's move right on into body care so first is this refill of josie marin this one is in the uh, scent topless tangerine this is the body scrub so i still have some of the body scrub that's actually in the glass container but this was the refill that i put in there been loving this scrub now i told y'all her first scrub was not that girl the texture of it was too thick when you tried to scoop it out and it was just kind of stiff it didn't smell like nothing but argon oil it just was not giving me anything but this one yes now the oil that's in it is still giving argon oil it's still there you get the top of the tangerine um scent it's not super super potent but you definitely get it but the oil that it leaves on your skin like this is one i would scrub all over my body and then i would just stand under the shower and just like kind of rinse the sugar away you know what i'm saying like of course you need to make sure it ain't in none of your cracks and crevices but i wasn't like really rubbing it off because i wanted that oil to stay on me and i got out the shower and you could just see the beads of water you could see how my skin was just glistening it was like so so good so love this i would actually purchase this this was sent to me but i would purchase this the avino body oil so y'all i love the shine that this gives like the shine is so good you be just so shiny like i just love it but i don't like the smell of it it smells like oats it smells like wheat it smells like you like in a wheat field i don't, I don't like it it's, it's very much so not the smell i want however i love the shine that it gives and i also this spray it, uh, they probably need to put it in a pump or something because i was always spraying it into my hands because when you spray it, it's not giving you like a like a mist it's giving you like a straight stream and that ain't the vibe so i just spray it in my hand and rub it all over would i repurchase it i mean I love the shine so much, but I don't like the smell. But when I use it with like um, fragrant like body butters and stuff like that, I really don't smell the smell anymore. So, and it's affordable. It gets the job done. It has you looking nice and glowy. So I would repurchase it. I would. This body bar by Dove. This is the Coconut Milk and Sugar Lychee Plant Milk Cleansing Bar. Okay, Coconut Milk and Sugar Lychee somebody dm me and show sent, sent me this and was like girl you need to get this girl no i didn't i did not need to get this now don't get me wrong when i saw coconut milk and lychee i was like oh yes that's finna smell so good but it's like a brown soap bar and it's plant milk so i guess that's why but the scent was not scenting it wasn't giving me none of the vibes like it wasn't super lathery it was just like absolutely not then they got all these other flavors that sound so good macadamia milk and willow lavender oat milk and berry brulee uh turmeric milk and lemon drop like they all sound so good but girl no if they perform like this and the scent ain't potent like this one wasn't i'm good the anti-aging body balm by osea so i have a love hate relationship with this okay so i like it smells like all the osea products like that herbal spa a little bit of citrus type of smell okay the love hate relationship is because i love the way it looks and feels on the skin however it's a it's like a bomb so if it's too cold in this room which i like to keep it cold because i have so many products perfumes and i don't keep it cold but cool but in the winter time it's like kind of cold in here girl this thing is so stiff and you can't even get you can't get it out because it solidifies the bomb then if it's too hot in here like in the summertime then it gets like turns into like a liquid or something like that and it makes it easier to get it out but mm, mm, mm. so this is kind of like if you put their body butter on and you pump some of their oil in your hand that's kind of what this gives so i have the body butter i have the oil i'm gonna just stick to that combo i wouldn't repurchase this even though i really like what it does on the skin because then you don't have to use two products you can just use one so it's up to y'all because sometimes i had to like run this under hot water so that i can actually pump it out girl ain't nobody got time for that this is the cloud by 54 throne so this was getting a lot of hype i actually won this in a giveaway somebody tagged me i think it was my girl latanya i think she tagged me because they were asking like who's some of your favorite influencers and um i was one of the people that she tagged and i won this in a giveaway girl this was not good 
not good at all like no it's a no for me dog so this says it has what did it say ugandan vanilla and ethiopian honey girl mm -mm. this smell like a cardboard box child i don't know if they gave was get doing a giveaway because this was an old batch or what it wasn't super moisturizing at all it says it's a rapid hydration barrier repair cream girl i used it up because i was just trying to use it up because you know i'm trying not to waste products but girl it wasn't a good time i definitely had to pair the avena oil or some kind of oil with it just to make it like smooth and rub into the skin because it wasn't just melting into the skin it wasn't girl why are they hyping this the who only people hyping this is people just new to body butter or I, girl i don't know but absolutely not the delina body cream i finished my delina body cream all of y'all out there with Delina body cream, do you still have your Delina body cream? Have you used it up? Like, what's tea? Because I went ahead and used this up. Now, I do like the Delina body cream. It smells just like Delina. It's, it's pretty... It has decent moisture. It's not like the most moisturizing thing. Like, you know, it's just okay. It was really the aesthetics, the vibes. It was the Delina cream. Like, it was all of that. Because y'all know a couple years ago, we was all over this. Like, it was everything. But now, since I got Kama Sutra from... Um, a skin potion baby delina who delina cream who mm -mm. it's not giving it's not giving so i went ahead and used it up it is one you have to add an oil to as well like you don't have to but you kind of want to to kind of really give you that nice moisturized skin you know what i'm saying but girl would i repurchase this no ma'am i it, i loved it it was a good time while we were together, but no, no, no. I would not repurchase this. Not over Kama Sutra. Absolutely not. This is the Sugar Lemon Body Lotion by Fresh. So this was like a light lemon, a light sugary lemon. Um, it had decent moisture on the skin um, and it was okay. It's not something I would repurchase because I want my lemon to be a little more lemony. Give me a little more zest. You know what I'm saying? Give me that real lemon feel. And this was just like a light sugared lemon. And it had decent moisture, but I wouldn't repurchase it. It was cute while I had it though. As Good As New by Be Fresh. So this is one of their exfoliating body serums. So, you know, after you get out the shower, you will put your serum on, then your lotion, then your oil or your body butter, your oil or just your body butter um, if you got a really good one. And this one is the one with hyaluronic acid and lactic acid. So I like this. This one is the one that doesn't Oh, bitch. Let's see. I'm trying to mess up my makeup, bro. I got on my dress and everything. This is the one that doesn't have a smell. Um, so you can put this on under any, you know, body butter, lotion, or anything like that. And I do like it. I feel like it does keep the skin nice and smooth and lightly exfoliated. It's not a super heavy exfoliation. You're not going to get rid of strawberry legs in one tube. But I think if you're consistent with it and keep continuing to purchase it and use it, you will see a difference. This is the Alma Divina. Uh, body cleansing gel by uh, skin potion i emptied one i have another one and i emptied this one i'm like halfway through the other one this one is a watery texture it's not really a gel texture so it is kind of easy to get through it because once you get the pumping girl and you, you use a lot at one time i mean i do i'm heavy-handed anyway but it does give a nice lather and that's why i like to use a lot of it because i want that nice lather and it smells just like the alma divina scent smells just like valaya so if you love that fragrance you would love this line um so like i said i'm halfway through the other one that i have and once i finish that one it'll be gone but yeah it's like a like a watery cleansing milk so this is something i will use after i've used my deep cleansing like bar soap or dr browners or something like that then you go in with this lather up to get your moisture started i do think it does have a nice like you know moisture starter feel and it also has kojic acid and sea moss so it's got a little exfoliation and a little moisture so i do i did enjoy using this Last for body care is this by La Roche Posay. This is the Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. So, Dad actually used this up and he said he likes this. He said it was nice and gave him decent moisture, um, just like his Jergens Cherry Almond one he liked. Um, this was one he would use when he wanted something that did not have like a scent. You know what I'm saying? So, he would use this. And yeah, he said he enjoyed it. Actually, he, he used this on his face and his body and he enjoyed it. And it does say extra dry skin, body and face. So he enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something just simple, 
easy, decent moisture, no scent. I have some of this as well, so I know how it performs. I've used it before. So yeah, then you can definitely try La Roche-Posay. I like a lot of their products. Oh, I have this whole body deodorant by Lumi. So I am a Lumi fan. I love Lumi and I love Native. I love both of them. However, this one is the Unscented Invisible Cream. I, I didn't even finish all this. I will not ever purchase the cream ever. I don't know. I just saw Unscented and grabbed it and didn't pay attention that it wasn't the Invisible Solid. I can only do the solids with this because this cream, first of all, I don't like the wet feeling up under my arms for one. And for two, it's something about it. Like after you use it and have it for a while, it smells weird. Like, mm -mm, I don't like the way it smells. So it smells kind of mildewy. Like, I don't, I don't like that. So I would not you purchase this again. And I don't recommend it. Like, I don't. The solid stick, though, absolutely. Okay, moving on to miscellaneous things. Of course, our oral hygiene is super important. I'm still using the Guru Nanda products. So this is the pulling oil. You use this, swish it around for 10 minutes before you brush your teeth. Then after you brush your teeth, you use this um, mouthwash. And it has two, um, like, you know, this side and this side. You mix them together. It's like some pulling oil and the, like hy um, hydrogen peroxide. So this is to keep your teeth nice and white in between you, do you doing your whitening strips and your dental appointments and all of that. So, yeah, I've been enjoying these and these are a staple in our household i ran out of my probiotics um i do always use the garden of life but i normally use the women's one um i got this one because it had more of the you know probiotic strains in it and um so i tried this one but i didn't like it because i put my vitamins like in a little monday tuesday wednesday thing and sometimes by the time i was getting to that day like the the powder inside looked like it had shriveled up girl i was like uh-uh uh -uh. so i would not per repurchase this one but the women's one no problem i don't have that problem i'll link those because those are the ones you need to get it keeps you nice clean fresh keeps you all your parts all running how they're supposed to your digestive running how it's supposed to like yeah that one yes been using it for years would not go back Diego finished his Zesty Paw 8-in-1 multivitamins. So I'll be telling y'all if y'all have a dog, get these. It's good for their um it's good for bones, joints, heart, skin, and cold digestion, immune system, antioxidants, liver health, all of that. So yeah, if you have a dog, get, get these. They are on Amazon. I'll link them for you. And, uh, and another reason why he's been taking those for years, but remember I told y'all he had that skin infection. I hadn't had him on those for a little bit, like a month or two, and he got that skin infection. So we had to take him to the vet, get that fixed, and I got him back on them, and he ain't had a problem since. Dew wipes. We talked about dew wipes in the vlog. Whether we flushing them or not flushing them. Some of y'all flushing. Some of y'all ain't flushing. I'm a flusher. I've been flushing. I'm going to keep flushing. I got city water try. I don't have a septic tank. Now, if you got a septic tank, that's a different thing. Y'all figure that out. Get that stuff that you pour in there and all that. But, girl, I got city water and we be flushing them and everything's all good. I love these. They're 99% water, fragrance-free, vitamin E and aloe. No irritation. I always get the fragrance-free ones. Liquid IV. So I got like three bags of liquid IV downstairs, but this is just a small one that I have purchased because I was waiting for my order to come because I be getting liquid IV on sale. Like when they have sales, 20% off, 30% off, that's when I be buying my liquid IV and I stock up. So, but I didn't have none. So I had to get some from the store. I am a liquid IV stand. I drink water pretty much all day. That's all I drink is water. But sometimes you just don't want to just taste water. Like I can't drink soda. I'm not really a juice drinker. So I want, but I want my water to taste like something else sometimes. So that's why I love liquid IV so much because it gives me like I'm drinking juice but I'm still drinking water it's got electrolytes and great um faster hydration and all of that so I love liquid IV these two um hand sanitizers so this one is the touch land one I know all the girlies love it I was kind of late to the party for sure but now I'm like hooked on these they perfect for just sitting in your purse big purses small purses so I love that and they just I like the aesthetic of them but I was using this EOS one so this is look how big this is girl so i had a couple of these um this one is the coconut water and i think i had the cashmere vanilla one too it was another one that i had but it was like this this is one that i put in my errand bag so you know when you run an errands you got a big purse this is the one i threw in there i done broke it child or i keep this in the car or something like that so um i liked it because it 
sanitize your hand but it has that moisture in it too now if you are constantly using it your hands will kind of feel a little sticky after a few times so you know and i think it's the same thing with these too like you can only use hand sanitizer so many times like it's girl you got to go wash your hands like you do you know so when you out and about and you come in the house and from running errands girl i'll be rushing to wash my hands because i just be wanting my hands to be clean before i put my groceries away and all my other stuff so yeah but this one was nice to keep your hands moisturized while you out and about but it's so big that i could only put it in my you know air bag or big purse but this one i will carry my cute little purses my little you know date night purses little baby purses and all that when i want the cute aesthetic but i like both of them recommend both of them the eos one is super affordable the touchland one is like ten dollars spoiled child so remember i was um taking the my powder collagen stand by it loved it was using it for years and years and years but it was hard for me to be consistent because i was telling y'all it only works well when it's in something hot like hot tea or coffee or something like that and i just don't drink hot tea or coffee every single day you know what i'm saying but so i wanted to try this one and y'all this one is empty i have another one in the refrigerator that's almost gone i got one on the way i'm, I'm on their subscription now i like this this one is the mango one the one i have now is um pineapple i think i like the pineapple one better because it goes it pairs well with more drinks sometimes the mango one might taste a little funny with certain flavors so pineapple pretty much go with everything so i'm gonna keep getting the pineapple one but y'all i've been seeing a difference in the growth in my nails i've been seeing the difference in the growth in my facial hair child and hair everywhere else child and my skin has been doing well it's been doing you know good this hasn't been breaking me out it's keeping me nice and clear and i'm loving it so i'm gonna keep going with this because i literally drink water every day all day so i know i can be consistent with this because i have been and i've been loving it now i don't talk about natural hair products much but y'all know i get braid downs under my wigs and when i take my braids down i need to detangle my hairs i know y'all got braids for the summer some of y'all wear wigs y'all need to detangle your hair you know before you wash it and all of that girl i still stand by the african pride pre shampoo like this is still my favorite so you take your braid down you put this on dry hair and you comb it through it glides through it gets the hair out because you don't want to be washing your hair before you de be after you you don't want to wash your hair. <laughs> what am I trying to say? You don't want to be washing your hair and you didn't detangle it. Because all that tangled hair is just going to kind of mat up your hair while you're trying to wash it. And then when you're trying to detangle, it's going to be hell. So don't do that. Always use one, use this to detangle your hair before you um, shampoo. I stand by this. I will link it for y'all because, girl, if you don't like doing your hair because you hate detangling it, use this. Okay, last is the Juvia's Place Lashes. So I had a third one, but I don't know. I must have threw the thing away. So this one is Egypt Flare, and this one is Nefertiti, and the other one I had is Zaria. So I've been loving their lashes. I feel like they feel comfortable on my eyes. They give me that look that I like full enough, but not too dramatic, because sometimes I can do some super dramatic lashes, and the girls be hating, but it's okay. Don't you worry about it. My man likes me, okay? So don't worry about it. But anyway, but I feel like these give me just enough flair, just enough thickness just enough volume to where it's not doing too too much they're comfortable um i always try to catch them on sale so if you like lashes then definitely pick these up they have so many different like sizes and shapes and all of that um and i can reuse these multiple times i've used them like girl like 10 to each one like five to five to ten times like as long as they ain't you know sticky i clean them every night after i would use them so yeah i've been loving the juice bs place lashes so that is all for my empties videos i have some candles over here but maybe we'll talk about those in a vlog because we was talking about the vlogs um the candles in the vlog before y'all told me to get the goose creek one i have been getting their emails and they've been having some good sales so i'm looking forward to grabbing some of those so those are all the empties thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye